Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody! So in the last episode, we got our favorite pet kangaroo, Ricky, on our team. And wow, I don't know why they put us out here when we were in Symmetry Village. Well, I guess we can show off Gale Seeds, which we got at the very end of last episode. So it makes a little tornado, and now we can warp to any seed tree in the game, provided it's in this time period. So, we can go to Crescent Island now. And the reason I'm going to Crescent Island is because there was a Gasha tree that I planted here, and it's definitely bloomed by now. And I could have gotten it technically after, right after the third dungeon, but I didn't want to have to go through some time travel segments, so this is just easier. And I just realized we should definitely get our shield back. Well, that's just one of the many wonderful things about Gale Seeds. They can just take you in places so quickly. Gashinot has... Ooh, a piece of heart! Piece of heart, check it on the subscreen. That's really rare when that happens. After you get the one piece of heart, you can't get any others from Gasha Seeds. There's just one. Alright, let's go to the shop and buy our shield back. Wooden shield is 30 rupees. Alright. Now we'll warp to Symmetry Village. And you'll notice, conveniently, there are time portals here. So, let's go back in time and see what happened in this village. So the music's not quite as depressing now. And we can enter the buildings. Help! Help! The tuning nut is broken! What? Will you listen to my problem? Sure. The closer the Black Tower gets to completion, the stranger this city gets. When the Toonie Nut broke, the city fell out of balance, and the volcano started erupting. The Toonie Nut is the city's symbol. We dutifully worship this nut. That's... Uh, I mean, I prefer to worship a god as opposed to, like, a nut, but, you know, that's just me. The rules of Symmetry City require that left and right be in perfect balance, but the tuning nut at the center of the city is broken. Symmetry City is all out of balance. If we don't get the tuning nut fixed and put back together, the Symmetry Village will be destroyed by the eruptions. Do you understand? Yep. I've given the broken tuning nut to my husband, but he can't climb Restoration Wall. Also, there's this guy in the basement. Sway right, sway left, move left, sway right. Move right, sway left. I'm so skinny, I wish I could change. Sway left, sway right. I know, I'll work out, except I only have one dumbbell. Sway left, sway right. Working one arm at a time, it goes against my policy. If I can't do left and right at the same time... Sway left, sway right. Sway left, sway right. He seems to be fixated on your dumbbell. Give him the dumbbell? Yep. That's it, that's what I wanted. Now I can lift, lift, lift! I'll get all of the girls now, eh? Sway left, sway right. I'm so skinny, I can't offer you much. Um, I know. RIP. Gotta work out. You got a cheesy mustache. It's weird. Get the girls, get the girls. Um, sure, dude. You go for it. <laughs> I will be the symbol of your village now. Not really. So if we go up here, yep, you can see the volcano is erupting like crazy. Hey, Maple! I didn't know Maple could appear on the screen! Ah, uh, nothing great. Darn it, Maple started next to, like, everything. Ha ha ha, now you're sorry, I have more stuff than before. See ya! Ow, I was injured by a rock that shot out in the eruption. If you want the tuning nut, go see my brother across town. No matter which house you go in, it will always tell you to go into the other house. Kind of weird. But yeah, because there's it's Symmetry Village, so... There's this uh, house in the exact opposite corner. The closer the Black Tower gets to completion, the stranger the city gets. When the tuning nut broke, the city fell out of balance and the volcano started erupting. 
I want to take the Toonie Nut to Patch's place, but I can't leave the city alone. This is Symmetry City. Left and right have to be in perfect balance. My brother is too hurt to move, so he can't move either. If one brother goes somewhere, the balance between left and right will be lost, but someone has to go. Hey, you can ignore the rules and leave the city. Can you take this Toonie Nut to Patch? Yep. Really? Thank you. I'll leave this to you. Patch lives at the top of the restoration wall to the south. After you get the Toonie Nut fixed, take it to the house in there in the middle of the city and place it on the pedestal. We get the broken Toonie Nut. So I always wondered, for this city, is it like they don't want to move without the other person moving? Or is it that they physically can't? Huh? The cave entrance? It was covered by lava from the volcano long ago. Maybe if the volcano calms down, you may be able to get in. Interesting. Also, there's nothing we can do down there. If we look at the map, actually, you'll notice Ambi's palace is right next to here. Just separated by a wall. I will ignore the blue dark nuts. Okay, I can't really ignore them here. Ouch. Oh, I didn't want to use my potion on that. Darn it. I really wanted that potion for the dungeon. I'll have to get another one now. Oh, nope. nope. Well, this is interesting. If we dive down there, hidden passageway. There are not as many of these in Oracle of Ages as there are in Oracle of Seasons. But there's still a couple, so it's good to know about them. Plus, you have to do this. Also, I'll show off. If you equip your sword to be underwater, you can actually use it. But I like having my sword set to A. I am Toki. I research time. Are you a... Okay. He has a very similar name to the creatures on Crescent Island. After many years of research, I'm one step away from perfecting a tune that lets one move forward in time, but it seems I've hit a roadblock. Echoes produce waves. What could it mean? Let's play him the tune of Echoes. That's the tune of Echoes! That's the tone my research lacked! It has answered my remaining questions! Now I can finish my tune! Great, dude. Ye of many tunes, I grant you a new tune. Time flows when you play the tune of currents. When you play this tune, you'll immediately drift back into your own time. But if you are in a place from which you cannot reach your own time, you'll return to the past. You've earned the tune of currents. Play it to move from the past to the present. Choose it when you want to use the harp. So now we can just instantly warp to the present time from the past pretty much anywhere we want. We have to be out in the overworld map for it to work, but other than that, there are pretty much no regulations. Keep in mind, you cannot use this tune to go from the present to the past. You need to use the tune of echoes in order to do that. Well, like, hey, let's try this out, shall we? This is where the ages starts getting a lot more puzzles, even in the overworld. Boom. Instantly went to the present. So if we explore around, ow. We got the piece of heart down there. All right, I need more health, so. Oh yeah, that was lucky. We can go back to Symmetry Village if we want, but I really don't want. Thank you. So interesting, there's a little Tune of Echoes patch right there. Well, there's nothing we can do from here, but maybe we should just use the Tune of Currents in a different spot. 
And it makes that convenient little portal for you to walk in and just travel back in instantly. Get out of here, Zora! You're not supposed to be able to appear in shallow water. Nothing we can do over there. So if you want to get a piece of heart, you can use the Tune of Currents over in that area and walk over here. I really don't want to get the piece of heart, so... Stupid Dark Nuts. Oh ho, interesting. Not Scent Seeds. Time's flow can change the land. Yeah, no, duh, we've already seen that before. So we do not want to go on the Tune of Echoes patch, instead we want to go lower down here, because in the present, there's a rock barrier. As you can see. And now we can explore a new area! Much later in the game, when we get the last tune of time, then we can go up there and get the Gasha plot, but it's really not worth it right now. Hi, Moblins. I've always found it interesting that the enemies in the present are, like, easier versions of enemies in the past. Ow! Oh no! Darn it! I start all the way back here? You're kidding me! Okay, Zoras are not supposed to be able to go on shallow water. I hate this silver world. Enemies are too hard in a cursed playthrough. I hate you! <sighs> Darn you, Tech Tights! Oh yeah! Legend of Zelda Overworld themes are the best, they are the best, they are the best, oh yeah! Okay, that physics on that do not make sense, but all right. Ah, snake! Was not expecting that. Take that. The snakes always appear out of the ground when you least expect it. Alright. No thanks, Maple. So, there's nothing we can actually do in this area just yet. But there's a rock up there, so we might as well move that. And yay, we can travel back to the past now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So now you'll see there's a little seedling down here, so if we wanted we could push it over here. And that's actually what we inevitably have to do, but I'm gonna leave it over there for the time being. Because we can get a nice little upgrade if we keep it over there. Oh. Nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope, nope, no. You are not killing me. Admittedly, if I died here, it wouldn't be so bad. I'd, I'd start in this part of the past world map, as opposed to the one way up. To the northern peak of the, uh, the mountain. There we go. So yeah, leave that seed there. Doo doo. So if we come up this way, you'll notice there's a stone here. We can't move that. So there's nothing we can do over there, but there's another exit out of this cave over to the right. And over here, if we push the stone, The river changes its course. And that's one of the coolest puzzles, I think, because that actually affects the present. Oh, 
Oh, what? This is the harp. So yeah, now you'll notice the right side is flooded, and if we go to the present, the right side will be flooded again. Which means if we go on the left-hand side, there's now something cool we can do. Do not throw anything into the water. Yeah, yeah, rules were meant to be broken. Did you drop a golden bomb or a silver bomb? So, this is kind of a classic Zelda fan where it'll be like, Hey, did you do this or this? Just tell the truth. I threw a regular one in. You are an honest person. I'll increase the number of bombs you can carry to reward you. Hiya! Now we can carry 30 bombs! And I filled your bag. Farewell. That's why you want to keep the vines over on this side. Also, on the right-hand side, you need to flood that, because if you don't, then in the present time, there will be a lot of holes over there that you can't get over. Again, that does not sound like a harp. I don't know why people will call it the Harp of Ages, because, I mean, it does not sound like a harp. Uh, of course, a blockade. Also, it's important to note Ricky can't go into the past. He is not a time traveling kangaroo, unfortunately. Time to travel back again. Ouch. Stop it, tech tights! That is not at all what I wanted to do. Already needs full HP. There we go. So if you'll remember that rock barrier down in that one part of the map, well, that is no not there in the past. Oh boy, restoration wall up. So we're almost there, but now we have to climb this segment with falling rocks. Part of the reason I wanted full HP. What we want to do is climb over in the middle, yep, in the middle. Pray you don't get hit by a rock. And up here, right beneath Symmetry Village. I haven't had any visitors in some time. I am Patch, the restoration guru. Did you need me? Yes. <laughs> I see. You want me to repair that toonie nut. My restoration ceremony might fix it. Wanna try? Yes. You are willing to try? Very well. Follow me. <laughs> this guy's weird. Welcome to Patch's Crazy Cart! Will you partake in my ceremony? Yes. Very well, do you want to hear the rules? Sure. Then let me explain. I'll place your toonie nut on that green tile and recite the words of my restoration ceremony. You must knock all the beasts that appear into a hole. Any hole will do. Sounds easy, right? However, restoration is delicate work. Your precious toonie nut sits on these tracks. This cart starts moving when the ceremony begins. As long as you stand on the switch, the cart won't hit your toonie nut. But if you don't get it, and it hits it, BOOM! So, will you take part in this fun, er, delicate ceremony? Sure. Let the ceremony begin! So this is a weird, so we hit this button. We've got these beetles over here. So get in a position where you can just hit all of them, so I'm gonna keep this switch down. Okay, good. Then you can step off of it. I really wish you could use Seat Shooter plus Gale Seeds just to insta-kill these guys. Alright. 
So don't let them push you in the pit. There we go. Hmm, <laughs> my ceremony succeeded. You are talented. You got through this trap. Er, uh, ceremony. Here's your toonie nut. As good as new. As usual, I am perfect. Here you go. And we get the toonie nut back. Bring me anything else that needs fixing, and I'll prepare my trap. Er, uh, ceremony. Yeah, he's weird. We will do that again in the game, though. Alright, I know this episode's been long for an Oracle of Ages episode, but I'll probably cut out a lot of the redoes I had to do. So, Tuning Echoes goes on the pedestal. Everything's good again! Now the volcano should calm down! I have to get that cave cleaned! Alright, so the volcano stopped. Let's go back to the present. I think you'll be surprised at what Symmetry Village looks like. It's now very green. And the houses are repaired, and there are blue flowers everywhere. Oh, this is just beautiful. Also, hey, hey! The volcano's now a waterfall. And if we enter inside... It's level 4, the Skull Dungeon, which we will do in the next episode! Thank you very much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, hope to see you next time! Have a great day, and God bless!